What's up guys, Easygoing MC back with another video and today I'll be showing you how to build an iron farm that doesn't require a zombie. This farm is good for about 140 iron ingots per hour and these are the materials you need to build it. So you need about a couple stacks of building blocks as well as just under a stack of glass, though this could be exchanged for normal building blocks. You need 50 walls, 16 signs, 8 hoppers, a chest, 2 lava buckets, um, an infinite water source, and then 12 beds. So you want to start off by just building off the ground several blocks. This is to prevent iron golems from spawning in the terrain around. Um, you could build this underground or even on the surface. You just need to make sure you then have slab other potential spawning spaces because you want all the iron golems to spawn on that surface on top. But get started with an 8x8 platform once you're at your build location of solid blocks. You could also use top half slabs if you wanted. I'm just going to opt to use normal blocks here. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And go ahead and fill that square in. Once you have that all done, go ahead and place a ring of glass that's too tall all the way around the platform. And once you finish that, go ahead and go inside and place down six beds on either side like this. At this point, you want to put in your eight villagers into the farm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There you go. Now, on one side of the farm, wherever you want your storage output, go ahead and place your chest. This could also be an output into our larger storage system. Then go ahead and place your row of eight hoppers. I know this is kind of a lot of iron just under a stack, but this farm is about to get you all that iron times a million, so you should be set from that standpoint. Then go ahead and put in a quick roof, just like so, and just fill it in just like that. You might have to push the villagers off the bed when you do this. If pushing the villagers is giving you a bit too much struggle, an alternative is to wait till night. Once all the villagers are asleep, it's really easy just to go ahead and place these blocks on top. Now, go ahead, and you might even have an iron golem already spawned. Go ahead and place a ring of cobblestone walls around the entire farm, just like so. And in the back by the hoppers, coming out to the third block from each corner, just like this, you wanna make this a two tall high wall. Next, go ahead and place your first eight signs coming off the wall, just like so. And then go ahead and place a sign on top of each hopper, just like this. Next, place your two lava buckets in, just like so. And then place your eight, your water sources right here so that they flow the iron golems into the hot lava where they then burn up, die, and then their items are transported into the chest or other storage system. And just like that, your farm is complete. I'll go into a brief explanation of how the farm works now, but if you're just here for the tutorial, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later. But for now, here's the explanation of how this thing works. So there are two ways iron golems spawn in naturally into the world beyond just natural generation. And the first of which is panicking, which is basically where you use a zombie or similar mob uh, to spawn in an iron golem. As you can see, I place a zombie right here. These guys are gonna start panicking eventually, basically immediately, an iron golem spawns in. However, that mechanic means you have to capture a zombie, and usually those farms, which although you can get very high rates, and I personally prefer them, um, they're usually a bit, little bit more complex in order to achieve such rates. However, there's a second way iron golems can spawn in, and this is through the gossiping mechanic. And this mechanic allows villagers kind of just to sit in this box, and they kind of talk of each other, and periodically they'll spawn an iron golem on top. And... It allows for very, very simple farms like this one, where it's basically just a box with several villagers inside and then a pad where the iron golems spawn and are subsequently killed and their iron is collected. Anyways, guys, though, that's essentially how the farm works. I also hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more questions, please drop a comment down below or feel free to join my Discord. Other than that, though, I hope you guys have an easygoing day and I'll catch you all later. As an aside, though, it is very great to be back and I'm excited to make tutorials for you and have the goal of making a tutorial every single week this year going forward, but we'll see if I can do it, but that is the goal. All right, guys, as the sun sets, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.